Well, the patterns of sibling rivalry that develop as a child will often play out in adulthood. And now that competitiveness could impact your finances. A new study has found having a brother actually decreases a woman's earnings by 10%. Researchers from Cornell University in New York found this to be true of women in their late 20s and early 30s, while those who didn't have a brother only had a 5% gender wage gap. The study found girls with brothers were more likely to adopt more traditional gender roles and so too their siblings. So let's see what our Pulse guests have to say about this. And joining me this afternoon, Lisa Fernandez and TV legend John Burjo Burgess. Happy Monday Hi, on Amy. this public holiday. Hi, Emmy. <laughs> Now, Hi, Lise. Lise. Hi, Birdjo. Yeah. <laughs> Lise, what do you make of this? You've got oh. a, a brother. How's that rivalry going? Not only do I have a brother, I'm right in the demo. Late 20s, early 30s. Well, perfect, so Lise. Lise. Perfect. <laughs> She's got, she's got my name written all over it. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> got look, me already. I, Let me just start. So you're asking for a 10% wage increase then? Well, look, look here's the thing. Uh, I'm not quite... I'm not quite sure that I agree with that because I've always earned pretty good money. My brother's earned all right money, you know, and I think we kind of, we were very close. So we lifted each other up. So if he was being a bit of a loser, I'd say, well, you can do better than that, mate. You're being a bit of a loser. And he would do the same for me. So we kind of were very equal in that way and, and helped each other along. So mm. uh, that's what I got out of it. I mean, it depends. I mean, and, you, and if your brother is a loser and you're the sister, then you're going to earn more money than him, aren't you? Yes, yeah, so you're winning. I would think so. So yeah, I'm I'm winning at the moment. I'm not saying he's a loser, but yeah. I am oh. winning. Yeah, I'm not, now, a virgin, Joe, I'm not saying he's a loser. Traditionally, yeah. daughters also tend to be the ones that looked after their parents in life. So, what did you take from that study? What do you think? Well, I, I, when I read it, I went, "What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how does that work? I mean, you know, brothers, you got a brother. You, yeah. Uh, I, you know, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, kids looking after their parents. Well, that's very important, of course. Yes. Uh, do, you, do girls uh, look after their parents better than boys do? I don't know. I uh, got a lot of friends who are in that position at the moment, both uh, male and female. I think they both do a pretty good job. To be quite I think honest it depends on who ends up closer, living next to mum and dad when you're older, yeah. obviously. <laughs> If you move, yeah. you know, to mm. the other side of the state, then it's yeah. probably not. If you're lucky enough to have moved into state, that's fantastic. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> then lucky you. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> Come over for a holiday. How are you going, Mum and Dad? Yeah. Oh, I'm going back again. Yeah. 